FitFam, we are here and today I want to talk about my take on collagen supplementation and is it right for you? Now, when I dove into collagen research, initially, a lot of the people on YouTube were saying that it was a complete waste of money. And as of the filming of this video, I am yet to try it myself. And I haven't really spoken to anybody that's been on collagen, whether they notice a difference in their skin, but also into their joints. And so my challenge over the next 30 days is to find the right collagen that has all three types of collagen, because there are different types out there. And the most that are sold are the type one types of collagen, which is the biovin. The biovin means that it's coming from cow skin hides. Now, through the research of collagen, this type one coming from cows is more specifically designed to nourish the skin cells. So it's supposed to be able to provide more breakdown and repair of your skin cells. So if you're looking to tighten or you're looking to tone the skin and get more plump skin, then the type one is the one that you do want to focus on. It's more readily available on the shelves. And even speaking to all of my suppliers, most of them are unable to get a collagen that contains all of type one, two, and three. Now, the second type of collagen that exists out there is the type two. And the type two is coming from chicken. So mostly like chicken skin, cartilage, tendons, and bones. Now, if you pick up bones and marrow bone broth, which I've actually recently started, the bones and marrow comes from bones from cow hides or, or cows, and it also comes from the cartilage and the tendons and ligaments of chicken. So if you're picking up bones and marrow, they actually contain type one and type two. Now the difference between the type one and the type two is that type two is specifically designed for your joints, tendons, and ligaments. So if you wanna get great skin, and if you're looking to have great joints, then you would wanna pick up a collagen that contains type one and type two. Now the third type of collagen, and there's actually a couple other ones, but these are the three main ones, is coming from marine life. Mainly it's coming from fish skin. Now recently, uh, one of our coaches mentioned that one of her belly burners was taking the type three collagen that she had won at a social prize. And the girl said that her son mentioned to her that she smelled like fish. And she couldn't figure out what it was until she looked at this collagen supplement and realizing that the main source of collagen was coming from fish skins. Now that's least likely to happen to you. We don't, I don't know her story, but I'm just thinking that maybe she was consuming too much of that. So the recommend dosage for the average person ranges anywhere from like two grams per day all the way up to 10 grams per day. So this person, which I'm not saying she did, so if there are this person, I'm not talking specifically about you, but she might've been consuming 20, 30, even up to 60 grams or more of this collagen in hopes of making her skin tighter. Now the type three is the one that it's actually designed to provide fluid for the skin. So type one is meant to tighten the skin. It's meant to make it a little bit more plump. And then type three is to provide more fluids. So make the skin a little less dry and make it more pliable, more spongy. And so it, when it gets to be stretched, it's going to be more pliable. So that's not going to create any types of stretch marks. The type two, again, is going to be designed for the tendons, the ligaments and the joints. So in my recommendation, I would recommend you to find a collagen supplement and I found one and I'm going to be ordering it and I'm going to do a 30 day trial on myself because there's no way to really tell if something is actually working without actually doing it on yourself. So I found one supplement out there. I'm going to try it out and it has all types one, two and three. Now, when you look at the bottles, you're going to see that most of them will have it labeled as to which type of collagen is in there. Some of them will put a photo or a picture of a cow. Some of them will put a picture of a fish or some of them will put them a picture of the chicken. So again, what you're looking for, unless you specifically only want skin or unless you specifically only want to provide hydration for the skin, or if you want to focus just on the joints, then you want to make sure that you want to pick up all three types. Now, what is the difference between protein and collagen supplementation? Well, protein has amino acid profile that your body uniquely recognizes it and utilizes it for building and repairing your muscles. Whereas the collagen is three types of amino acids in a larger amount that your joints, your tendons, your ligaments, and your skin more so recognize and they absorb those nutrients. 
Now, the reason why you would want to take these is that as we age, just like everything else in our body, we start to decrease the amount of collagen production. And so as we age, we get more fine lines, we get wrinkles, our skin becomes less pliable, our joints become less lubricated, and our tendons and ligaments and all that stuff starts to hurt. And so we need to do a little bit of supplementation just to get our numbers back to normal. Now, the numbers vary depending on multiple factors. So someone that is older, somebody that is more active, somebody that yeah, you know maybe is exposed a lot to different climates, such as like being in the sun all day, they're going to need more collagen supplementation than somebody that just kind of is like in between. So the ranges that I've researched is anywhere from two grams to 10 grams. And if you look at most of these supplements, they come in about a 10 gram scoop. Now, when you're looking at the ingredients, you want to make sure that the ingredients in there are coming from natural sources. So you don't really want a flavored collagen because it's going to decrease your body's ability to absorb a lot of the nutrients from the collagen that you're going to get. So if a scoop is like 10 grams, but there's two grams of fillers in there, then those two grams could block your ability to absorb the eight grams of collagen. So when you're reading the labels and although it does suck to to take unflavored supplements, then you know you you don't want to have those fillers block your ability, your body's ability to absorb the nutrients, and you're just really wasting your money. Now it's not super expensive. I've seen like anywhere from like a 35 to a 50 serving container, ranging anywhere from like 40 bucks all the way up to 60 bucks. As for like quality assurance, whether or not like are all the brands a lot different? There's a lot of people that are gonna say, well our collagen is better than these guys collagen but to me honestly between proteins creatines and all these other supplementation i just believe that they all come from different plants <laughs> so there's probably like 10 total plants that are making these collagens worldwide like where's the original source from is the original source coming from germany well there's probably one plant in germany that's grinding down all of this collagen supplementation and then companies are subscribing to this one plant and the plant is just sending them bags of this stuff and then they send it off to their labelers. And I mean, it's not hard to make your own supplement. So is one quality better than the other? As of the research that I have today, I don't know. In my opinion, yes or no, I hate sitting on the fence. I would say that no brand has a better quality than the other without me doing deeper dive into research. Now, a lot of these companies are gonna put out you know, and make these statements that their their quality is a lot better than any other company. But until I, until I see that actually reviewed by either the 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 food like the food administration, or whether it's in a peer reviewed journal article of digestibility, then just to take some companies like doctors uh, advice about whether this is the best supplement to take, I'm not there, right? Like it's like yeah, sure you have a PhD but you could be being paid to say that. So is one quality better than the other? As of today, I'm gonna to say no. But what you do wanna look for is ideally something that's unflavored. And if you could just drink it with straight water, then you can drink it with just straight water. But I'm gonna be mixing it into my green shake. So the greens that I use has very minimal artificial sweeteners that will affect any digestibility and it's sweetened with stevia, which is a natural sweetener, then it's got all the greens. So it's gonna be put in as my first meal. You can take it any time of the day. It's a non-stimulant. It's not gonna affect you in any way, shape or form with your sleep. It's basically like having a food source, but the food source is dedicated to your skin and your joints. And so what is the difference between like the bone broth? So like the bones and marrow broth and the supplementation. Well, the supplementation has been hydro hydrolyzed, hydro hydrolyzed, I can't remember the word, but it's basically been put it into its most digestible and absorbable form. So it's through a manipulation process. It's now able to be absorbed into your body more efficiently and more effectively. And the difference between the bones and marrow is that like the bone broth is going to have other minerals and vitamins and also other macros that your body will absorb and it'll enjoy. So you're going to get less maybe available and digestible and more specific to your skin and joints, et cetera, et cetera, in the pure form like you would with getting like a broth, but the powder is going to be convenient. It's going to be more 
concentrated in collagen and you're more than likely going to absorb what you do in the powder form versus the the broth form because the broth form has you know has some carbs in it it has some fats like there's no way that you can isolate a food source there's no food source out there that doesn't even have a little bit of carbs in it or a little bit of fat or a little bit of protein if it's coming from food and there's calories there's other macros in there regardless of what the label says it might when they do the labeling and they say it's zero like protein or zero uh, carbs it means that there's very minimal it doesn't mean that there's none there's no pure isolated form of anything like even your coconut oil you're going to see there's going to be some carbs and protein in there so the difference is this is a pure isolate collagen and this one is going to be a mix mash so which one over the other i would say if you can do a whole food source and do a bone broth once a day and again depending on your needs that bone broth one cup a day could be exactly what you need but you're also getting a lot more health and 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 like just different benefits from the whole food source but if you need quick and convenient where you can just throw it into some water or mix it into your green shake every single day and you need maybe way more collagen than the average person then i would say go with the supplementation form now in the comment section guys i want to know are you using collagen okay how often are you using collagen which brand are you using and i would like to know so we got so which are you using collagen how often are you using it what's your brand and then also what are some of the changes that you've noticed like do you notice that your skin has actually improved do you notice less or the same amount of joint pain so i'm very curious to know everybody's response throw that in the comment section and if anybody out there isn't a member go to our website w.fitclub.fit message us about the five days if you're a non-member next belly burn challenge starts very soon send us a message and we'll get back to you